Philomena, Philomena Kunk, being Philomena Kunk. I'm not exactly sure who this woman is, but I'm going to find out today. Apparently, this is our funniest moments, I guess. Um, so let's find out who Philomena Kunk is, and uh, let me know if I should check out more stuff from her. Let's get it. Planet Earth. It's a planet I'm literally on right now. And unless you're okay. watching this on a long haul flight or while falling off a building, chances are you are too. To find out more about philosophy, I've got an I am on Earth. I, with... I am on Earth. Thank you. Or have I? Or am I here? Maybe I'm imagining them or they're imagining me. Or am I? Galileo Galilei. Yes. That's like me being called Philomena Philomene. Do you just <laughs> learn the famous bits, like to be or not to be? Or do you learn all the bits in between as well? I have to learn all the bits in between. Are you fucking joking? How many three wise men were there? Who knows? Oh. Here come the three! I'm the lyrical gangster. The Egyptians believed the most significant thing you could do in your life was die. Okay. Ouch. No, no, I, I saw a thing on YouTube after 700's numbers repeat. They just give them different names so you think they're still going up. Do you want me to send it to you? It's twice as big as the others. So it looks like he's enjoying an intimate dinner with some schoolboys. Not a good look. Looking at the pyramids today, it's impossible not to be struck by the thought that they're basically big triangles with a sort of square arse. There's probably a word for that shape, but literally no one knows what it might be. It's one of the many timeless mysteries of the pyramids. If I think therefore I am, what about other people? Do they think therefore they am? How can I tell if they're thinking therefore they am? Or huh? am I just thinking they think therefore they am, but actually they're not real and I'm only thinking they am? Are you <laughs> thinking therefore you am right now? So it was much, much bigger than rap metal then. You're like, yes, what? Much yeah. bigger. What about acid jazz? Um, her neck's very long. Was she part giraffe or could he just <laughs> not do necks? No, her... But it also preserved glimpses of how sophisticated Roman life was, with creature comforts like indoor plumbing and conilingus. It would be hard to come up with a brand name for human flesh, wouldn't it? In his later years, Beethoven was profoundly dead. <laughs> it's quite moving and human because we've all worried we might die in a car park if we, like, lose the ticket and can't get the barrier up and just die in there. Shakespeare makes you think about those things. And that's <laughs> hard. Having a right. sandwich, that's an idea. Painting your bicycle blue, that's an idea. Going... <laughs> Pompeii was so advanced it had its own volcano, which is Latin for angry hill. So from one moment to another, physical systems in or everywhere in the universe changes its state and that change takes place in what we call time and that's the <laughs> only what was the winter solstice it's the winter solstice Sol solstice it's the solstice 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 you got it yeah bleaching the arsehole someone starts loading pigs into a catapult <laughs> A space invader floats across the room, shitting a harpsichord made of glass horses onto the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. These people shit. reactions. Obviously, he went deaf when he died, but was he deaf when he was still alive? Yes, he was profoundly. Yeah, he was profoundly. But not dead. He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead. When he was alive. No, no. Men in vans right. still whistle at women in the street, though thanks to feminism, the man in the van might be a woman. Feminism. And the woman they're whistling at might be a prime minister. It's for William, the son of John Shakespeare. <laughs> this feminism. is a bit like, who do you think you are, isn't it? It is in a way, yeah. These, you know, if, if you're tracing your family history, these are the records that will give you the information like, you need. But he'd sort of call it, who doth thou thinkest Thou art. They were called things like Runib, Ruspica, Ruspaba, and Nuspacucca. Yet despite all this attention what? to detail, a quick inspection of his back half reveals he doesn't have an anus. 
It's a baffling omission. Galileo's <laughs> full name was Galileo Figaro Magnifico, wasn't it? The government's advice was getting more confusing by the day, which was clever in itself because confused people tend to stand still going instead of moving around spreading germs. And if they cough, their hands are already over their mouths. Mm. What's that thing on the wall? It looks like a big True. stain. It looks like damp. <laughs> My mate Paul wrote a story about a man who got a, a new potato stuck up himself following an ill-advised sex game. And he wrote that in the form of a limerick. I'm entering a cave. Not by mistake or because I'm a wolf. Mm. Rene Sauce. <laughs> was that a sort of... I mean, thinking there's going to be more, but not, no, that's it. Century ketchup. Right now, a coronavirus vaccine is on trial, but we'll have to wait to discover if it's guilty or not. Why do Christians call that special book the Bible? <laughs> the Bible. Is that how it's pronounced? I've literally never... Wait, what? But we'll have to wait to discover if it's guilty or not. Why do Christians call that special book the Bible? The, huh? the Bible? Is that how it's pronounced? I've literally never heard anyone say it before. It's the Bible? <laughs> with the red nose. And he put it sort of on his intimate skin. And it sort of tore it and it went septic. Actually, I think that... What makes you think the moon isn't real? <laughs> tore it and it went septic. He like, ma'am, what, what is this interview? Actually, I think that... What makes you think the moon isn't real, though, Philomena? It isn't. I don't know if you've done your own research, but my mate Paul sent me a video that exposes the whole thing. Can you prove the moon exists? Yeah, you, you can't, can you? That's why this is the only place in the world where I can be in the past and the future with the present running right up through my middle bits. That must be <laughs> terrible. Can you imagine what it would feel like to be sucked off through a hole? Yeah. Hello, science man, who are you? Why do they say it's a mystery how the pyramids were built when it's obviously just big bricks in a triangle? Mm. To discover whether the Facts. true meaning of Christmas has any meaning today, or whether that meaning snapped off somewhere along the way, leaving it meaningless, whatever that means. And cook it in... <laughs> It's mean to make a really good a really good sauce. It just looks like sort of cheers. You know when you read a word in a book mm -hmm. and you sort of hear that word in your head? Yeah. How do they get the sounds into the ink to make it play in your head? Mm, that's a good question. That's a good question. How do they get the ink to make a sound in your head? Iconic scene in which Macbeth is startled at dinner by the unexpected appearance of Banquo's ghost, played here for some reason by the letter H. Which of you have done this? What my good lord? I'll probe Shakespeare's life, study his complete works, and speak. People were prudish back then, weren't they? If they saw his penis, they'd probably have a stroke, wouldn't they? Probably. I don't think that would have made it onto the meat. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's not a joke. Here in this oh, garden in Kent, <laughs> Darwin saw an apple fall from a tree and wondered if there was a monkey up there. Uh, on new stories, oh, no, that's yeah. the story. <laughs> Someone would pay a fortune for that. <laughs> John Bishop's kidneys. When you think about it, thinking about thinking is the hardest sort of thinking there is, mm. which makes you think. A whole galaxy's mm. going to hit Thinking about thinking is the hardest thing to think about. It really makes you think. Ugh. I like the way she thinks, bro. I'm about to say. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking, if air is really there, how come we can't grab it? <laughs> I mean, she asks us some reasonable questions, bro. If air is really there, how can we not grab it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, let me know in the conversation below. Should I check out is she like a comedian? Like, does she do stand-up or is she only on shows? Let me know in the comment section below if I should check out more stuff from her, man. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later, man. Peace.